What's going on guys? It's your boy TD coming to you from Fantasy Good Sports and today's video is on the Houston Rockets and their two stars. The reason I'm doing this video today is not to tell you that the Houston Rockets are going to win the NBA championship but that their offense which you probably already know is cutting edge because of Mike D'Antoni and that they're going to be a tough out in the playoff format. Now, a lot of people don't like Dan Tony, which is the head coach, his style. I love it. And the difference between him winning a championship is his clutch players performing in the clutch. James Harden hasn't performed in the clutch the way he do in the regular season. But with Russell Westbrook playing on the team, I think he's their closer. Yes, I said it. Russell Westbrook is the Houston Rockets closer. Now, let me tell you a couple games that's going to give you like a, I guess I would say a, a goal postmark. The Houston Rockets beat, during the regular season now, this is before the COVID, beat the Lakers, the Clippers, Boston and the Bucks. Those four teams are the strongest teams in the league, defensively and offensively. And Houston beat them. So, what that tells you is they can beat any team on any given day. So, who wants to match up with them in the first round? None of these good teams. You seen what the Lakers did with them in the bubble? They got whooped. The Lakers lost. Now the Lakers are not playing good ball right now, but still, if you beat the Lakers, you're doing pretty good. They got LeBron James, and it's getting close to the playoff time, so he's ready. But Houston was the offense. The guards couldn't. They was unguardable. You can't guard Russell Westbrook and James Harden, and James Harden shooting threes from wherever he want to. Then you got Russell Westbrook cutting to the basket. With nobody in the lane. That's why I love Russell Westbrook in this offense. This is what Oklahoma should have done. Oklahoma City should have traded Steven Adams, got a big man to shoot threes, and left the paint wide open for Russell to drive or kick it at any time. And this is Houston style. So that's why Russell numbers are, are up right now. Is he, No, I don't think he's averaging a triple-double, but his scoring is up. So, this system fits Russell perfectly and James Harden. And don't please, and this is neither here nor there, but why in the hell did Houston, not Houston, but Oklahoma City trade James Harden? That's Sam Preston. That was some of the stupidest, that was the, the stupidest move I ever seen in my life, but I'm not going to go on that soliloquy. That's another video. So, I don't know what seed Houston is going to get. After the eight games were played. But. I think. It's a possibility. I'm not saying to bank it. They could be in the finals in the rest of the conference. So that, does that say that they're going to beat the Clippers. And the Lakers to get there. I believe they have the chance. And I believe. If you are a bet man. To take the points. To take Houston. They're going to be the underdog. But they're going to cover. They're going to cover a lot of those points. So, that's just a little nugget for y'all if you're a betting man. Take Houston. So, let's talk about something that obvious that people love to hop on Dan Tony players. Dan Tony, I'm sorry. What they like to say about his players. And it's that they don't play any defense. But what I tell you is go watch the Milwaukee game. Giannis, the reigning MVP. Now, he wasn't shut down for his points-wise, but in the fourth quarter, they was locking him down. He wasn't getting to the basket like he usually does. And James Harden is a sneaky good defense player. Yes, I said it. A sneaky good defensive player. You don't put him on quicker guards, you know, 
you actually he he's better guarding post players because he's so big and solid that they can't move him in the post. So when he's playing a backside post player, he's dangerous. Just like playing, he's like playing free safety, waiting f for the pass, and he just Olaying and then stealing the ball. He actually led Houston in steals that game. Houston had 15 steals and forced Milwaukee to 20 turnovers in the game. Milwaukee, I thought, would easily win this game. I'm, I'm like, Houston don't want to play. I mean, this, this is Milwaukee of the, or the Lakers championship, but you no, know, not according to James Harden and Russell Westbrook. And Westbrook, he's a killer. Now, he don't always play relentless on the defensive side of the of the floor but he hustles every play and when you have a guy like that it's contagious in the locker room so you have players that are not his caliber that picks up his energy and plays on the defense side of the ball every possession because they seen Russell dive on the floor they seen Russell hustle back on defense they seen James Harden do the same so if them two can do it the rest of the team is going to do it I think Mike D'Antoni is a great coach. I think that other players and other teams pick on his team about defense, and I think it's unfair. Because with no hand check, I don't believe that defense is really important when you're shooting up 40 to 50 threes a game. All they have to be is 30%. How many threes is that when you done shot 50? So you can be efficient in, as in the two game, shooting twos and in the post, but you still get beat because they hit more threes and threes or count more than twos. Mike Santoni, he needs to win a championship in order to show the NBA that this is the new style. The Golden State can say what they want to say. Steve Kerr can say what he want to say. They copied Houston. When he let Steph go and shoot like he wanted to, he was basically giving his team, giving Steph the, re, the audacity to go and shoot as you please, just like Dan Tony had did with Steve Nash and other guys. So this is our this was a fad. It just nobody thought you could win with it. But as you play in that system, I think you get better defensively. So, with Golden State, it's a little different. Mark Jackson taught that team to play defense, but he hindered it on the offensive side because he wanted to play the slow game. So, that took Draymond out and then put David Lee in that position, which made them a whole different team. But when Steve Kerr got there and was thinking outside the box, kind of like Dan Tony, he released them. He put Draymond in that lineup and then told Draymond, you get the rebound, you push it. We always pushing it. So that put his team at an advantage at all times because we might be smaller, but we faster. So if you miss the shot, any a, special, a three or two, we off on the races. And we got a guy that can shoot for anywhere on the court. And then we got another guy that he might not shoot as deep, but when he shoot, he probably more accurate than Stephen Curry. And I'm talking about Clay Thompson. So I just want to give y'all some context with that to see this is what Houston can do. This could be Houston year with the COVID. Um, I don't think James Harden is wore out like he has in the past when he's scoring out, dribbling the ball every time, every possession, all through the season. Then to get to the playoffs, he's tired. Now he has a helpmate. And he hasn't wore himself out. I even like the game. One of my favorite games, and I measured them up because I knew the Clippers had great wing defenders, which can guard Russell and James by having Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And they was baking those two guys. Those two, the two best wing defenders in the league, other than LeBron James, was getting roasted. So if you can roast those two guys, you can roast anybody on a given night. They just need to be able to play defense for three games out of a seven game series. They have to play, have put their hands on balls, do whatever they can. And I think it make a, it would make a whole difference. So guys, I come to you with this video about Houston just to 
to pay attention. And I think you can have a leg up on bets because I feel like the bookies don't know the potential of Houston and what they can do. So I think you can get great points. You, you can get plus bets. And I would make it. And like I said, I'm not putting anything in stone. But I really believe that Houston can surprise the world in this COVID NBA championship run. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. If you like my content, please go and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Have a blessed day.